Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Crusader Kings 3. Uh, right now I'm playing this game on the Game Pass from Microsoft, but also you can uh, download it on Steam. Uh, first of all, we will start with the setup of Windows, and after that we were going to tweak the game in the uh, game settings. Uh, honestly, the game runs really smooth, it just came out and I'm really impressed with it, so very nice game also. Um, let's start with the search game mode, search for game mode, open it, make sure that your game mode is at off, uh, it's causing like stuttering and I uh, was losing a bit of FPS, like 1-2%, to 2%, so make sure this one is at off, Xbox game bar, really important, put this one at off, and all those capture background recording, recorded audio at off. Another thing really important, just remove all those overlay that you're currently using. If you're using the Discord one, NVIDIA, whatever, AMD, make sure that you don't use any overlay. Uh, another thing really important is your uh, GPU uh, scheduling. So write GPU over there, graphic setting, click on it. Uh, to see this option, you really need the latest version of Windows. So Windows 10 version 2004. And also you need the latest driver from NVIDIA. I'm not sure right now you can do it with AMD, but it will probably come out like really soon. So make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. When you did you do that, just restart your computer, really important. And uh, one more thing is your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver, so NVIDIA, AMD, even Intel. A lot of people are uh, think that they have the uh, latest driver because they're doing their Windows update. Don't do that. Even for Intel, you need to go on the webs their website. Make sure that you download the latest driver from them. Uh, it can help you a lot, even if you have an integrated video card. So now let's go inside of the game. I will show you what graphic parameter that you should tweak to get more FPS. So now for the graphic parameter. First of all, make sure that your display mode is full screen. Really important. I was losing 3% in my FPS in window. So really important to be full screen. Resolution really depend on your uh, monitor. For me, it's 1080p. After all the stuff that I will show you to change, if you're still struggling with your FPS, for sure, lower re your resolution, it will help you a lot. Normally, I don't use VSync. I don't like to create input lag on my computer, but in this type of game, you don't really care. So uh, you don't have an FPS limit limiter in this game. Uh, also, you can use NVIDIA to limit your FPS, MSI Afterburner, whatever. But if you don't do that, uh, you can use the VSync, honestly. Just use the VSync. If you have a 60 Hz screen, it will lock your FPS at 60. If you have a 144 Hz uh, screen, it will lock at 144. So, for example, if you have a 60 Earth screen, uh, it uh, you don't need to render like 100 FPS. It will create more heat. It will draw more power in your computer. So when you use your VSync, uh, you will be locked at 60. And uh, sometimes when you generate more heat in your computer, you will have a, maybe your CPU will start throttling and stuff like that. So really i'm talking about like laptop like computer not really well built so uh use vsync in those type of games it will normally help you um graphic card make sure that you see your graphic card here you don't see some random integrated video card if you have like a real graphic card gui scaling 100 percent so now let's start with the real graphic parameter Anti-aliasing. Honestly, uh, I did a couple of tests. 8x is taking a lot of resources, so don't use that that one. Uh, between 2x and 4x, you have 2% of difference, and 2x and disable, you have 4%. So go with 2x. But uh, if you're really struggling with your FPS, disable it. You will gain a nice uh, boost. But you know those type of game without anti-aliasing, I, I don't really like it. So I feel like 2x is a good uh, compromise. Texture quality depends on the VRAM on your video card. So if you have 4 gig and more, go with ultra and texture filtering at 16. Uh, if you have like 3 gig, go with i 8x. If you have less, um, 2 gig, go with medium and 4x. And if you have like 1 gig of VRAM, just go with something like low and uh, 2x for your filtering. Refraction quality, this one is kind of good for your FPS. I compare i to disable, it's 6% boost. So just disable this one and shadow it's pretty huge if i compare the 4000 by 4000 versus disable you can gain uh, like 14 percent in your fps so also a huge boost over there so put those two at disable map object uh, this one is a little bit dif different um 
I it's ta tax, uh, it's taking a lot of resources, but honestly, low versus medium, you have 2% of difference, and low versus off, you have 3% over there. So go with something with low or even medium. Mesh is taking more resources, it's 3% for each bracket, so go with something with low and uncheck this mesh uh, LOD fade. Animate character, you can uh, check this one, it doesn't take a lot of resources. And for the rest of it, character uh, ambient inclusion, put uh, uncheck, bloom uncheck, and advanced shader effect, uncheck. For coastal border, uh, I recommend always hide, it will help you a bit with your FPS, like 2 to 3%, that's pretty much it. So you don't have any uh, more option that you can change. So you can change really like the, um, the uh, audio quality and stuff like that. I saw that in the config file, they have an option for the API. Right now it's DirectX 11. Pretty sure they're gonna patch it and they're gonna <laughs> release something like DirectX 12. It will help people uh, without a, a good uh, CPU. So that's about it, guys. If you have any question for this game, uh, just comment, comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace!